Um, I, I want to go back to the uh, topic of capital gains uh, because I, I just think this is very, very important. And I, I'll, the, the one observation that I want to make is that uh, I, I think it's abundantly clear that it is the investment of accumulated capital that makes economic growth possible. And any policy that diminishes that accumulated capital is very, very dangerous in terms of its implications for economic growth. Um, Congressman Camp and Senator Kyle uh, both observed that when capital gains are imposed on uh, the appreciated value of a stock, it is uh, it's almost certainly a form of double taxation because the underlying stock has been had uh, the income associated with it taxed in the first place, and that's certainly completely true. I'd like to make another point about this, which uh, which has to do with um, inflation. Uh, Mr. Bartold, I'm, I'm sure you'd agree that in the post-war era, our economy has had no sustained periods of deflation. We've had inflation of varying levels, but consistently. And uh, we charge, we, we impose a capital gains tax on the nominal gain in value of an asset, not on the real gain. So that is to say that we impose a capital gains tax on the inflationary gain. Is that true? Yes, it's correct. We uh, we tax nominal values throughout right. the Internal Revenue Code. So, if you had a a sustained period where inflation averaged just say three percent, as it as the math works out, in twenty four years the value of of assets doubles. I shouldn't say the value; the nominal price doubles. But yet the real value hasn't gone up at all in that scenario. And yet we would still impose a capital gains tax, wouldn't we? That's correct. So. In effect, what we're doing in the case of assets that appreciate in value, if the appreciation were due only to really the loss of value of the dollar and inflation, you'd have zero real gain, and yet you'd pay a tax. So you would literally be paying a tax despite having no gain in real terms. Isn't that true? That's, that's correct, sir. So um, it seems to me that uh, this phenomenon has long been part of the reason that at least we try to mitigate that by having a capital gains rate that's lower than ordinary income tax rates. Just one of the rationales. That, ha that has been one of the stated policy rationales, sir. Right. Thanks, and I'll yield the balance of my time. Thank you very much. Uh, under